Hello, hello. Happy Thursday or whatever day you happen to listen or watch this All Things Healing podcast and video. I want to share something with you. I was listening to a podcast on last night um, and something was said and it just brought to my memory of a time when. And this podcast, <clears throat> it's like a series. So it's talking about a relationship, aut- talking about a relationship autopsy. So a relationship, and, and she made this statement. I had to, I had to make sure I noted it. I, I wrote it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. A relationship autopsy is not about the relationship with somebody else. It's about the relationship with your, with you. Your relationship with others are a mirror of the relationship with yourself. I'm going to read that last sentence again. Your relationships with, with your relationship with others are a mirror of the relationship with yourselves, with yourself. I say this all the time and now I have more context (laughs) to confirm what I've been saying. The relationships that we're having with other people are just trying to show us about, show us us. And sometimes it's hard to see you. That's why God places these, these relationships in our lives to show us us. It's not, it's not about the relationship with the other person. And I know that we can get so, so focused on that because we're not, we're not aware. We're not aware what's going, what's happening. It's hard to see the picture when you're inside the frame. And so when I, when I heard that and the lady went in to share her story, let me just tell you um, a time when I did this and I'm going to share, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. So there was a time when I was in relationship. I was a habitual dater, right? I had to be in, I had to be in relationship. Okay. I didn't know who I was, so I had to just listen to that. I did not know who I was, and I had to be in a relationship. I had to, as soon as one ended, and I did all the endings, okay? I was in another one, and I did. I'm going to tell you why I, ended, why I was the one who chose to end the relationships. Because they, because my father was not in my life. This is my this is the underlying issue, okay? I had to get to the underlying issue. It was not about nobody else. It was about the relationship I was having with myself. So, in my mind... From a little girl to a grown woman, my dad wasn't in my life. So I took it as abandonment. I took it as rejection. So what I would do in relationships, I make I would leave, I would make sure I was the one that was that was getting rid of the people. They, they were never getting rid of me. I got rid of them in all my relationships. I'm telling what I did. And I got down to the root of it. So you got to get to the root of it. Like, why? Why is this happening? It's not about the other people. It's about the relationship you're having with yourself. Okay. I was scared to be left. I was scared to be abandoned. I was scared to be rejected. So I did all the stuff first. I did not want to be the one that was being left. I wanted to want, I wanted to be the one that was doing the leaving. Okay. That's my relationship autopsy. All right. And it showed up in a lot of relationships. Okay. And I realized that. So the relationship, just like she said, the relationship, that is so true because we don't even realize what we're doing. Our relationship autopsy is not about the relationship with somebody else. It's about the relationship with you. Your relationships with others are a mirror of the relationship you have with yourself. So if you look at your relationships, there are there are patterns there, right? So the first step is awareness. What patterns are there? What do I need to do with me? Right. Because if you don't have a relationship with yourself, how can you have a relationship with somebody else? I didn't have a relationship with myself. I was in and out of relationship with other people trying to be who they wanted me to be because I didn't know. I didn't know I was me. I didn't know who I was. And those people told me who I was. Right. So I thought I became what they needed me to be. And then when I complete when I ended the relationship, it was complete. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what to do. So I got into another one. I got into another one. And it, and it was just, it was a cycle of toxic, dysfunctional relationships. Not with nobody else, but with myself. I had to sit down and get to know me. I had to work on me. I had to heal that those, those rejection and abandonment wounds. And I, we was having a conversation on a call yesterday. And that came up with somebody about rejection. And I was like, man, I know how that feels. And you know what? You have to reframe it. You can't change what happened. I can't change what happened, but I can change the way I look at it. He wasn't there because he wasn't there. It had nothing to do with me. I choose to move forward and forgive and love and peace. I choose to do it differently. I choose to break that generational curse. So this young lady, getting back to the podcast, this young lady, um, 
she had an issue. Well, growing up, she was overweight and, and she was like, you know, she was asking her questions and she was talking about she was overweight. She lost the weight and she had all this confidence and she would, you know, people, you know, they always told her she had a pretty face. Like she was just talking about all the things that she was experiencing throughout her life. And then she was asking, and she, she was talking to her about the relationship that she was, was currently talking about. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a real relationship, right? She said, she said, she said that relationship was nine months. She said, that's like, she said, it wasn't even nine months. You got, it's taking nine months to have a baby. She said, you had a print. That was, that relationship all times is a premature, prem, it's premature. It wasn't even a baby, right? It didn't, it didn't even, you know, it wasn't even a relationship period. That's the analogy, right? So then she started asking more questions. And as she started asking the questions, she got down to the core, to the to the to the root of the of the issue. So the root of the issue was between the ages of seven and I want to say ten, her brother molested her, sexually molested her, and he did it so much that she just stopped fighting. Right, and so she started asking different questions, and and what she realized is that she just gave up. She didn't fight anymore, right? So in her relationships, she does the same things. Throughout her relationship, this was this this kept happening. So she told her, you know what? You gotta take time to work on you. You gotta take time to get to know you. She was telling her, no, no relationships, no, no, no nookie. She said she's telling her, no nookie for nine months. Okay. You got to work on you. You got you got to work on you first, right? Because there's some things that you're not aware of that you can't even feel because it's just it's it's it's, it's just shut off, right? Because of that experience that you never process, that you never work through. Sometimes we try to do this stuff by ourselves, and it's hard. It's hard. You have to have somebody, a safe person, or or a professional counsel, therapist, or coach to talk to. Because it's not going to change. Nothing changes and nothing changes. Had I not talked to somebody, had I not got into this personal development coaching world, counseling world, like with school, these are things I would have never been aware of. The first step is the awareness. So look at you. Do a do relationship autopsy. Get to the root of it. It's not about the other people. It's not about the other people. We make it about the other people because we don't. We, we, when we don't know for me, when I didn't know, I blame other people because I didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. So I blame them. Something wrong with them because I'm, ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> it's them. It's them. Like if you point, if you point that thing at everybody else, you got all them fingers pointing back at you. So you got to take a look at you in the mirror, right? Because if you don't have a relationship with yourself, how can you have a relationship with somebody else? I didn't have a relationship with myself. Now I was seeking Right. And I was seeking relationships with, uh, with relationships with other people and it was never working because I didn't know. I didn't know how to, I didn't I didn't know how to have a relationship with myself. I had to take time with myself. I had to be gentle with myself as I heal, as I process, as I release, as I forgive, as I work through all of the stuff. And I'm still working through it. And so now I'm able to discern. I'm able to trust myself because I know myself. I'm married now. I wouldn't have never got married if I not done that work. Because I would have been like, oh, no, something. No, no, I don't trust you. All y'all do the same thing. I'm mad. You're going to leave. You know, because marriage is like, oh, my God, that's 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 the next big step. That's a big step. And it requires trust. It requires knowing who you are. Right. You can't change another person. You can choose to love them where they are, leave them where they at. You got choices. But I'm telling you, once you do your work, once you get to know you, once you have a relationship with yourself, you'll be able to have relationships with other people. Healthy ones. Can I say that? Healthy ones. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I feel complete. I feel complete. I wanted to share that this morning because it was definitely on my heart. And I wanted to talk about that when I heard that. I was like, wait a minute. I had to rewind it. <laughs> let me Let me write this down. Yeah, so this is how I um this is how I get stuff out of my head. I talk about it. I do a lot of talking, do a lot of videos. So I hope this is helpful. And um until next time, stay in